bit bright, isn't it? Yeah. You tell it's me. A bit like a ghost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Vanessa from Arts in the Sand. I'm on a boat. Do you believe it? I'm scared to fall into the water, so if you see that happening, lucky you. So I'm here with Josh Savage. Um, we just climbed onto this. Yeah. So how are you doing? Really good. Yeah. Amazing. I'm really excited to be on this really cool boat. Yeah, me too. And uh, yeah, they sell books, which is nice. Nice, yeah. So I want to talk a bit about Ghost, the recent release. Yes, yeah. So what was the process like? Of you know, putting the song together because it's quite a big song. The string section. Yeah. But... So actually, it's a song that I've I had the idea and the concept, um, of, like musically, ages ago. Um, maybe like four, five years ago. Oh. But I, but I, and I just kind of stored it away, and then mm. I heard it back uh, a year or so ago, and I was like, actually, this is all right. So made a thing about made a made a song out of it, and um, and. Yeah, so um, that's what kind of came out, and I, I have a classical music background, so I like to have strings in it. Yeah. And obviously, it kind of needed a bit of oomph, so I got the band in for it too. And, and yeah, so uh, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds a bit different from your previous material. Yeah. But it's actually quite interesting that it's actually an old song. But it just in seems, a way, yeah. Yeah, it seems a bit different. Yeah. So I also want to talk about the French EP. Yes. It's been a bit. It's like a bit older now. Yeah. It's still relevant, yeah, it's yeah. still really good. Um, so yeah, did you find it was different to write in French? It was to like write in English how you usually do. Yeah, big time because mm -hmm. I mean it's, it's a completely different language and also the French language is very nasally. Yeah. So it's really hard to sing um, sing in French because you, you need vowel sounds to like let the sound um, sound good. Mm -hmm. So you actually have to change the vowel the change the word in a, in a bit so you can actually sing it right and uh so I'd, i've learned all of that which is really interesting because uh, i speak it but yeah first yeah. time writing it and uh uh yes and i, I wrote it inspired by my favorite book the pretty Prince, which mm -hmm. is my favorite book when i grew up in paris and each song is written about a character that the little prince meets on his adventures i love that so did you find it was different to express yourself? Because I know from being German that we have different words and sometimes I like using English words more than German words to express a certain feeling. Sure. Something like that. Did you find that was true for you as well? Um, yeah, I guess so. And also people have said, oh, you should translate it and do an English version. But actually that would... I don't believe in that. I think what a song is a song is... Like you shouldn't really change it right. too much. Mm -hmm. um, like remixes and stuff is fine, but like actually changing the writing, I'm not really keen on that. And yeah, you, you're exactly right. There are some words that you can't really translate, yeah. and obviously the rhyme pattern's different, so mm -hmm. it's not something I was, um, yeah, mm -hmm. something I was keen yeah. to do. Right. Translate it. Yeah. So what's really impressive about you is that you're self-managed and you do all the work on your own. Yeah. So how do you? You know, split your time between all the different sections because it's not just about writing music, is it? Yeah. It's so much more booking and being on social media. Yeah, yeah. With difficulty, there's a lot to right. lot to do, and actually, the longer I'm doing it, and the more people are hearing about the music, the the more work I have. So actually, I'm struggling to find time to write songs at the moment. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so you don't, there's not just the music part, there's the booking and yeah. there's like the social media, which is crucial as an independent artist. And, uh, and then it's like promoting yourself and all that. So, yeah, it's not easy, but mm. no one, uh, when, you, when you really believe in yourself and you believe this is something you can do and, and make a living out of it, then it's, uh, and you, if you enjoy it, it doesn't, doesn't really feel like hard work, mm. really. I mean, yeah. it is, but but at the same time, it's something you love doing, so, mm. it's, so it's okay. Yeah, you don't mind doing an extra hour of work. Yeah. 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 So really connected to Sofa Sounds. Yeah. You found it the Winchester? Yeah, I found it Sofa Winchester and Southampton right. in 2013 because uh, I played so for Oxford and it's the best show I've ever played. 
early on in my career. And uh, Winchester needed a kick up the arse, the music oh, scene. Right. So I thought, perfect, we need a sofa sound in there. Absolutely. And it's doing really well. It is, it's still yeah. still going every month. So. It's amazing. Yeah, so you play a lot of living rooms. Yes. And you travel a lot. So what do you do like when you're on tour? How do you, how do you keep yourself healthy and you, you know energized, keep going? How does that work for you? <laughs> uh, again, with difficulty. Um, it's yeah when you're either driving or sitting on a bus. Yeah. For most of the day, uh, you uh, yeah you don't get much exercise. And for example, when I uh, toured America for three months, I put on two stone. I don't know what that is in kilograms, but it's a fair, fair amount. A bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not sure really. I need mm. to look into that really because okay, the more I tour, it's just going to become a bigger problem. So yeah. maybe I need more vitamins and things like that because mm. when you're touring, you don't get the option of healthy food a lot of the time. So, yeah. Yeah. so you're heading to South America. Quite yeah, soon. Central America mostly, and then right. Colombia, yeah. Okay, so how do you do that? Like, how do you start <laughs> the booking? You know, is it all planned before you go there, or do you just not wing really? It? So, um, I'm the the main thing I do is I book, I uh, well, I book the flights first of all. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a good start. Yeah, uh, quite essential. <laughs> and so I I kind of uh, organise the start and the the end, yeah. and because uh, they're they're set in stone, and then mm -hmm. in the middle is what I can I try to find I try to find as many shows as possible in the middle right. to link it in, so I don't go back on myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm flying out to Mexico City in September, and I fly back in Colombia in mid October. It's pretty cool. And uh, looks like I'm going to be doing shows in Mexico, mm -hmm. Guatemala. Panama and Costa Rica. That's quite impressive. Maybe Honduras as well. Wow. So, so yeah, and, um, mostly my attitude is screw it, just see what happens. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm very lucky. I've got a fan who's invited me out there to play and is covering my travel expenses. So whilst I'm there, I'm just going to make the most of it. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So as amazing as that sounds and is, we all know like if you work in this industry, there's yeah. always going to be a setback. At some point, yeah. How do you deal with them? Uh, I write a song out of it. Sometimes. Good. Yeah. That's productive. So I, most of my songs are, well, they're all honest songs, and I write them to get things off my chest because I'm quite a reserved person. And so I either use it to fuel my art in a way, or um, yeah, or just take it on the chin and carry on really, because. It's, um, I don't, for, for any creative career, I don't believe it's how good you are. Obviously it's important, yeah. sure. but it's mostly those that persevere and get back up again who make a career out of it. Absolutely. Well put. To wrap this up, who do you listen to when you're not making music? Uh, I listen to a lot of new music, mostly. Uh, Shout out. So I saw, the band Joseph at oh, Barnum Farm. Yeah. Amazing band. Uh, Great really good, harmonies, right? Yeah, incredible. Yeah. Uh, they're really, really good live. You got someone listening to Right X. Oh, yeah. Love Right X. Good shout. Uh, Amber Run. Yeah. And I guess they're my, they're my top ones at the moment. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. Yeah, but it changes all the time. And I'm really yeah. into Bonobo and mm. Right Now too. Cool. So, yeah. Thank you so much for having this little chat Pleasure. on a boat, which was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah guys, if you enjoyed this little interview, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this little challenge, channel, whatever. <laughs> Bye! <Bye-bye. laughs> Hello. Hello. James has given us permission, Hiya. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to the customers in there? All oh, right, I <laughs> thought someone who lived here. <laughs> Gosh. I know, you've got an imaginary friend. Let's <laughs> 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 just chill a bit more. Actually, guys, okay. can't. Okay. We should be right. We should be good. We, we got we got stopped.
fulfillment before. Yeah. You got stopped? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just down I, there. I need a license and stuff. 